Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create a Minecraft server on your own PC. This is not a 24 hour server, it's up and running with your computer. So the first thing that you have to do, on the description down below, you're gonna find this, the Java IC development kit. Down here, you're gonna find the Windows 64 bit version. We're gonna download this. Accept this and download. Now you have to create an account in order to download this file. I have already created, but don't worry, it's easy. file is downloading Now open up the file that you've downloaded. Click yes. Click next. Next again. Alright, we've done from that. The second thing that you have to do is uh, the port forwarding. On your back of your router, you're gonna find these three things. The admin page, the username and password. You have to type the admin page on your browser here. and now click sign in and you have to type the username and password right now in order to connect to your router all right and now you have to find the port forwarding setting which is here click it now click on that Now type here MC server TCP UDP the port which is 25565 the same 25565 and now you have to find the IP of your computer open the command prompt cmd and type IP config now you need this the ipv4 address which is this one copy this and paste it right here all right and the port forward is complete close this and now the final step now is to download your server so on the description down below you're gonna find this, the Minecraft server download, this is the latest version, Minecraft server.1.15.2, download this, don't worry, it's absolutely safe, so we're gonna keep this file, and now you have to create a new folder 
in order to open the server now move this server file into your new folder open server.jar and it will create these other files all that you have to do is to agree to the EULA open the EULA and change the false to true and save this and close this open the server.jar again and the server is working alright and now if you want to open your server with a little bit more RAM I have created these commands for you from 1 gigabyte to 30 gigabyte today we're gonna create a 4 gigabyte server we're gonna copy this command close this type here stop it will stop your server and the server stop and uh, create a new text document and paste this command here now click on file save as and type here run that bat exactly like that run that bat and change this to all files click save and close this and this new text document we created we don't need that anymore we can delete it now open the run that bat this will open your server with 4 gigabyte of RAM all right and now you have to find your public IP address which is uh, you can find that from speed test or on your uh, router settings so have to copy this and paste it right here and we have to join the server alright, I'm inside of the server as you can see my server it runs so smoothly now you can type commands here for example I can type op I will OP myself right now. My name is Angel of Death 9524, and I made myself a server operator. So now you can do a lot of things. You can type commands here. For example, I'm gonna change my game mode to creative. Now it's much more better. can change the time night for example yes you can do everything right now everything and now if you have a friend that he has a cracked account you have to change the server properly the server and you have to go to the server properties right now which is here server.properties 
open this file and now uh, you can do a lot of things from here for example you can change the players you can change the online mode which is this one you have to change the online mode from true to false in order uh, if you want your friend um, join the server you have to change this to false and now your friend with uh, with the cracked account can join save this and that's it we'll be done from that now if you want to change the world folder of course you can do that it's really easy all that you have to do uh, is to delete the, your current world file and paste the new file and now if we open the server we're gonna see a difference between my new world and old world Let's see. Now this is much more better world. <laughs> it's easy, right? Okay, and that's it. hope you guys find this video helpful and uh, thanks for watching see you next time bye bye